And my friend Matt was watching a Damian Walters video. And he goes over and he does like a one-handed palm flip. And he said, oh, that's the only thing in this video that I can do. And I was pretty confused. I was like, no, there's no way that you could do that. And he pulls up his YouTube video and there's videos of him and one of my other friends, Kyle, just like doing flips, like making videos and, and just training. And from then on, I just was like, I want to get really good at this, you know? I basically train anywhere I can as long as I can be able to look at something and be able to think of some type of move or line that's in my head. I'm basically able to just kind of go and create, whether it's trees, grass, walls, anything. My name's Sean Batista. I'm 22 years old and I do parkour and free running. If I were to say my goals, what are my goals for Smeek? I mean, I want to just grow it as much as I can, whether it's like planning events or making clothing. I just want to be able to kind of travel the world. I was in Boston once with my friends and we were walking down Euphrania Hall. It's like the first time I've ever been to Boston. I ended up meeting this guy named Universal and he, the first thing he like asked me is if I had a job and I was like, oh yeah, I work at Target. And he was like, quit that job. <laughs> he was like, come down here, you'll make more money. So me being like 18, I'm like, oh, like I can go and do flips and make money. Thing that's always been big for my training and something that I would always want to achieve is just progression. You know, like every single time I go out and train, I want to be able to come back feeling like I did something that I've never done before. And being able to do that for like six and a half years straight has really just showed me that it's possible. Yeah, if I were to say one of my biggest achievements in free running has definitely been doing handstand gainer onto concrete, just because one, it's never been done before. And it was probably like hardest thing mentally for me, just because I was standing there looking at it for so long and I knew I could do it and being able to just get past the fear. The biggest challenge that I've had to overcome with training and being consistent for so long is injuries because I feel like when people have injuries, it makes you think like, all right, now I should kind of just rest and relax and fall back. But for me, since I have such a love for what I do, it's like I couldn't stop. So injuries kind of just forced me to be able to learn how to move in different ways and do different things if I didn't have to use my hand or didn't have to use my ankle. Being able to have something that gives you such a big mental block and you're so scared of being able to overcome it is kind of one of the best feelings I feel like you can get with yes! like the type of movement that we do. Oh man, <laughs> man, let's go. Damn, that's awesome. You know, but like with starting free running, my mom wasn't really too happy about it. And um, she just was like kind of scared that I would just get hurt. And she didn't really see like the big picture and all of it. And just kind of thinking like, oh, you just want to do flips in the backyard. Like there's nothing to achieve from it. So it was pretty hard. But the only thing is she couldn't take it away from me. With video games and sports, you can like take stuff, you know, from your kids. Hey, you can't do this. You can't do that. But she couldn't really take away my feet or my hands. So I was able to just like keep pushing no matter what. But she supports me now and she's she's happy that I can be able to do what I do and I've been able to gain opportunities and travel the world and meet all these new people. My girlfriend has been there with me through all of it, you know? You can see like a lot of my videos, she's just like sitting in the background. People's like, who's that girl? She's always in the background. She's behind the camera. So yeah, she's she's been with me through the whole ride. Real question is, do you have a life outside of free running?